For people in southern Putnam County, loud noises in the sky this past weekend literally rocked their world and not in a good way. We just had two huge booms over our house. I mean, my windows shook, the whole house shook. 30 911 calls were placed by people who had homes and property damaged by something that flew overhead. First Coast News is on your side, getting to the bottom of what caused that noise and the damage. A little late Saturday morning, this loud noise, roaring noise came over the house. The whole house shook. Teresa Bruce and her husband did not know what was happening at their home in Crescent City in southern Putnam County. It blew all these signs off the wall. It shattered the glass and the light bulbs in this light fixture. It, oh. This whole roof was like an ocean. Just Nearby, friend Sue Delp had a similar experience at the same time. She heard those three explosions and my first thought was we're at war. They're dropping bombs. That's how bad the house shook. They at the Bruce household, the, the horses were running. The dogs were freaking out. The cat was freaking out. 30 911 phone calls came into the sheriff's office starting at 10 a.m. Saturday. Literally knocked everything off my wall. I don't know what the hell that plane just dropped, but it dropped a bomb behind my house. Knocked all the pots and pans off of the shelves. Bruce was wanting to know more information about what caused that noise and rumble, and so she called NAS Jax. But the person at NAS Jax said, no, it wasn't the Navy. It was actually the National Guard. First Coast News reached out to the Florida National Guard. It confirms F-15 jets similar to these were indeed in the area of southern Putnam County Saturday morning at that time. But at this time, the National Guard is not confirming it is responsible for the damage caused at homes across the area. The Florida National Guard is investigating investigating to see if it is at fault. Bruce hopes her home is not structurally damaged and wants someone to be accountable. Someone needs to speak to me and to speak to all the people in this town about the damage to their homes. And so we will continue to monitor this and wait for an update from the Florida National Guard.